I broke free from the ground Help me drive them back in So hello, welcome to this week's video and straight away we're on my desk because I've just got all my bits and bobs out ready to do a little bit more work, if I can call it work, in my handmade journal that we've been working in for, is it three weeks now? Maybe four. And so it's starting to really sort of have a life of its own if you like, which is really quite nice. It's starting to take its own little character on. And I do find that with books, that once you sort of start working in them, they do have their own little personalities and characters as it evolves naturally as you go along through the process. And I don't have a plan in the sense of, you know, I didn't have any idea in my mind before I started this process of what I wanted it to look like. I just wanted to use what I had. That was my thoughts. Um, I think we get really caught up sometimes, don't we, in some really nice things that we can buy. And, you know, we just don't need to. We just don't need to, do we? So that's what I was thinking. And I've got three boxes of collage stuff in my room. And if you've seen any of my other videos where I'm sort of tidying up and sorting out and feng shui my room, you might remember that I've got far too much collage material. So I might as well use it. And seeing as I was so dissatisfied with all the journals I bought, ready-made journals, I, yeah, I ended up making my own, didn't I? And I don't know if I've done an amazing job. There's not, it's not perfect. I think it's going to fall apart a little bit and I'm going to have to keep mending it and things like that. These were the pages we did last week. Just some crafty kind of pages, really, and making some little bits and bobs too set intentions for 2022 so that was quite a nice process with a little pocket and some some journaling cards to put things on my timeline and i've tucked a few other bits and bobs and so my my loose plan for today is to basically have a play <laughs> first and foremost and also make some more bits and bobs ephem ephemera or what i like to call journaling treasure and then I have got some journaling cards and envelopes to fill and that kind of thing over the Christmas break, over the seasonal break. So that's the loose plan. And as you can see, I've got all sorts of things sticking out, not stuck down. I still haven't done my sewing of the pocket and I'm really not happy with that as a pocket. So I am going to be changing that at some point. But... I don't feel like doing that today, so I'm not going to do it. I've actually dug out 
And I've talked about this before, and anyone can do this. If you have, say, you've done a little drawing or a sketch or a painting of your own, print them out like this, and then you can literally use them in your journals. And I love using um, multiple little mini prints. I like little things, and I think a lot of us do, don't we? So that's what I'm thinking of using today. And in actual fact, I've literally just done, hang on a sec, I've done some December extras for the Patreons to say an extra special thank you. And this is one of the extras I've done. I don't usually do digital downloads, but I thought it might be nice to start doing them for journaling ephemera. So I could use the sheet that James has put together for, for the digital download. I want to do something with that as well. That's the poem that I wrote and the airy fairy wrote, this fairy. Talked about that, I think, in last week's video. So I want to kind of find a frame for that and maybe add some glitter. Yeah, maybe do something with that later. Anyway, so yeah, I've got four different paintings there. And obviously, you will you might recognise Earth Fairy from here. We did those pages, didn't we, a couple of weeks ago now. So I just want to have a really sort of chilled out chat and art journaling session with you really for this week. I have to be honest, I'm not feeling at my best. I've got my lady times and I just want to do something really fun and low key. And I did think about, you know, not recording a YouTube video this for this week, seeing as it's Christmas and I'm not really sure if anybody's going to have time to watch it, etc. But I do know that some people are on their own for Christmas. And so how about we have a little crafting session, working in our art, art journals with very little pressure or worry about the outcome, if we can help it, and just have fun. A relaxing therapeutic process. That's what I'm aiming for today anyway. So if you'd like to join me, you'd be most welcome to keep me company. Let's just start with some of these little mini prints and then see what evolves. So this is Delphine the Mermaid. Now all these paintings are available, not the originals, the originals are all sold, but I do have larger prints, I have smaller prints, mini prints, sort of postcard sized. And I also have some stickers. And at the moment, there's not everything that's in the sale, but there is a sale, a solstice sale going on until the beginning of January. So you get 10% discount in the shop. So all that will be linked in the description below. And But at the end of the day, you know, you don't need to buy anything. But if you do want to use these fairies and mermaids, you, you literally can copy, you know, everything I'm doing using exactly the same images if you wanted to. So that's why I'm saying that. Now let's use one of these as well. So I think I'm going to do more digital downloads. I've got some ideas for some really nice journaling sheets. And it, it kind of depends on how long they take me to make. Whether I put one up every month, every quarter or every two months, I'm not quite sure yet. My, my Patreon is pretty busy at the moment. So I've written a few sort of Wendy phrases on this one. James has put a lovely frame around like he's used on here as well. It's really Art Nouveau and really pretty. And I just love the mini things. And I was thinking it's about the size of artists' trading cards. I've got these Strathmore artist trading cards and I've got the Bristol paper and these are quite a nice size maybe for some journaling cards or some mini prints so I, th I think we can do some little mini prints in here some little cute ephemera and then maybe we can write on the back and things like that and of course with my most favourite tool, which I can't find right now, which is the corner cutter. Hang on a sec, I'll be back. I just messaged James and he knew where it was, so that was lucky. I've got a few little envelopes. 
piece of grease proof paper or tracing paper, some more little envelopes and I've got a little bag here which I got when I visited um, my daughter in China. I don't know what came in there, I think I got some stickers or something and it came in this cute little bag. So that's kind of cute. And I've got, yeah, just a few things I found. That's obviously not an envelope. So they might make quite cute pockets um, or, or little envelopes to put little notes in. I've got this little butterfly I drew as well on um, wax paper. And that's kind of cute. I thought I might do something with that. Hmm. And I've got these mini paintings, these mini floral paintings, um, which were stuck up over there. And I thought that might be quite cute as well to have a couple of mini artworks in here. I found a couple of stamps as well that I might use. And I'm really sorry, I don't know who makes them. But this one is just like an old handwriting with a couple of stamps on it. And then I've got some butterflies. And I've just had these years and I really don't know where I got them or who makes them. So I might just, let's see, paint a little bit on here. And I've got just some watercolours and some acrylics over here. So all I want to do is just get some colour on um, this paper. just so it's not white. Yeah, there's a bit of glitter on my board from last time. Let's try a different colour here. overlay some colour might add some gold as well I'm gonna need acrylic for that piece because I need a larger one for the mermaid so that is a cardstock with kind of like a plasticky it's not the nice bristol paper so okay those can dry and what color shall i have i think i'm gonna go for a nice Prussian blue with a bit of burnt umber thinking. So while I'm waiting for those to dry, I've made a little cut. I was going to just sort of stick this down. And I'm also thinking I'd probably do the next journaling cards a little bit differently, where I make a little, if I'm going to use some of the phrases, Wendy phrases if you like, or add some quotes and things like that. I think I'm going to make each one individual so it has its own frame. So rather than put the four together, I might do one in each. But I rather like the frame 
a lot actually I really like that I think that's gorgeous maybe I'll stick that on a nice cleany one yeah so I just cut with a craft knife and you've just seen me cut those out and I've got some little phrases to use perhaps with the little mini prints so I'm going to wait for all that to dry now and then I will be back so I'm literally having a rummage in all my scraps basket tons and tons of stuff in here so is this dry yet I think let's see let's cheat let us cheat let's see if that's dry I think the acrylic's dry just about and then let's just get some of the damp excess off and I think I'm going to do some distress ink over the top of these and do I want to use a plain one for this or do I want Maybe a plain one's quite nice, and then if I go over it with, let's see, I've got some distress inks here. That one is shabby shutters, and then this one is tea dye. So maybe go over the centre with tea dye as well. And then something a bit darker, vintage photo on the edge. I'm going to speed this up a little bit for you now. Hang on a sec.
don't want it to come out too fast, but at the same time I just want to highlight the fact that she's there. That one's not too bad, and that one's not too bad. And this one, I've kind of ripped, but I, I don't mind. It kind of just adds to it, I think. So I kind of like this little bird here. So let's just grab him while I've seen him. Somewhere for him. Maybe that little flower there as well. So I want to do some teeny tiny things. So first we're using the miniature art. And I'd like to add on gold paint everywhere which adds to it the Wendy quotes I think and conveniently I've got three and three little art miniatures now she's definitely cocooning isn't she shine when you can cocoon when you need which is the advice, my own advice that I'm following today because I'm doing this and I'm not doing anything too challenging. So that fits quite nicely there and she's cocooning, she's shining bright and she's a magical mermaid. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, let's speed you up again. I'm going to set. So they're almost dry and there's a little bit of glitter on them as well. I'm going to move these to dry I think because they're not quite there yet and I need to be a good girl so I'll be back. So I've put the miniature art cards on the radiator to dry and I'm just thinking about using some of these little envelopes, really cute. I got these years ago from a stationer's but you could easily get some wax or some parchment paper and make your own. They're really simple to make and then obviously you need something in there as well to write on. So I've put a couple of things and I've got this lovely waxy paper so I thought that might be quite nice to write on as well. Again thinking about tactile elements but yeah you can easily make these little envelopes any shape and size or buy them from a stationer's using any papers you like and obviously I haven't handmade these I've just literally found them in my box so rather than reinvent the wheel every time how nice is it to put in a couple of things, just fold that. And yeah, this is kind of a nice surface to have. Maybe I put that one in the bag. This is very tactile, just a little paper bag. And again, with a memory from China, so that's really nice. I've got a little place to write on there. And then I've got a secret note that I wrote on tissue paper. So let's put that in there, because envelopes are a really good place for secret notes, aren't they? Secret wishes and dreams. So, now if you want to, you could decorate those. So let's see, shall we? Um... So send the folks home. Send the folks home. Cancel the show. I tell them to go. Send the folks
So now I have got some dreams coming true, a happy place to write, a place for wishes, and some secret notes in here as well. Now, I thought I wanted this little bird torn. I think I'd like to move on to some little teeny tiny mini cards. You can write on the back. Mm, that's not really big enough to write on that little flower, but I do still rather like it. So I'm going to make some teeny tiny little tags and cards, I think, now. Yes, so let's put the envelopes to the side. Do I want to add anything else to the envelopes? I don't think so. I think they're fine. And again, you know, I could have made them my own and used some of my uh, stamps on there. Obviously, I've gone a bit wrong because I've got hormone brain, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. So I've got a few places to write. So that's kind of cool. I'll tell you what, I might make one little addition to... the Chinese baggie. Put a little Chinese sticker on. There we go. And I've got one of my own stickers here. So I'm going to use that for something. So I'm going to make a little journaling card, I think, out of this. And I just want to do a couple of layers of border just to make it a little bit special and maybe put some ribbon on it I don't know let's see do a really simple glue stick down and then a bit more of a border and I want something else as well make a like a, I think that's a bit thick isn't it, let's make a raggy tag speed you up a bit shall we
So let's have a little review of what we've got then. And I thought I would just, to finish the video, show you the kind of bits and bobs I've got gathered together. Do some final, final touches. There's always final touches that you want to do, isn't there? And show you how I'm going to store it so it goes hand in hand with my journal. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to do a, a couple of final additions, see if I can get everything in. Um, so let's categorise stuff, shall we, first. I like to put like for like stuff together. So the first thing we did was the little miniature artwork prints and we've made little journaling cards out of them. And you can see here that I've added a couple with, I've stapled that on and I made a hole in that one and looped it through just for added interest and, and that texture and touchability and then I can write on the back of those so those are kind of like mini journaling cards and I'm thinking they probably need a touch of glitter so that's probably the finishing touch for those I guess this is a similar thing even though it's round and I used a sticker for that one and again I've put some journaling paper on the back you can tuck it in something if you wanted or just slide it in between the pages. Those are all kind of quite tactile, so they're quite nice and chunky. Um, on the, do you remember I used the Bristol Artist Trading Card size? And so it's nice, strong paper. So there we've got the journaling cards, which we need to add some glitter to. I've then got, what have I got? Oh yes, I've got some miniature paintings. So they're not prints, these obviously are prints. These are miniature paintings and I think those could be quite nice in my journal. Whether I'm just gonna use them decoratively or whether I write on the back. I've got some tape on there because they were stuck up on my board over there. So yeah, little miniature things. And another little miniature thing I've got is a little book I made, you might remember a few weeks ago. It was to do with something I did um, as a Patreon project, but I haven't added my wishes in yet. But I just sort of thought I would share this because it was so easy to make. I just literally stapled in a couple of pages, rounded the corners, added a little embellishment, a bit of stamping, and yeah, so that's really easy. So I thought that would work in here. Little drawing of a butterfly, again tactile on that, um, is it vellum paper or wax parchment, tracing paper, that kind of thing. And oh, that was another little quote card I made. So obviously we put the little um, quotes on there and you can write your own quotes, you can find them online. Um, I obviously used a couple of things that I say. And yeah, because those are on my sheet. And then I've got a spare artist trading card to collage onto if I wanted to. Then moving on to the little secret notes with the envelopes, which I hardly did anything to do to these envelopes. Something stuck onto there that shouldn't be there. But again, you know, I've got a place and I put, yeah, there's an actual letter in there. And I put a couple of things in there now. So it's a different thing to having, you know, the journaling cards to write on. It's another place to write. And, you know, you've seen how kind of full it gets on the pages. And so often you don't have enough spaces to write. So it's nice to have extra spaces to actually write and journal in when you're um, creating something decorated, if you like. You're not just using an undecorated situation. And I might actually just put another little card in. Shall I put it in here? It'd be quite nice to write a wish on. And I've got the piece of wax paper to write on as well. So it's quite nice. So those were the little envelopes and we did talk about, didn't we, making your own envelopes so you could easily do that and you could make some little, you know, that sort of size would be quite cute. 
Now that's all I've made today. So there was a couple of, dish of additions I wanted to make. And I think onto here, I wanted to have a little hole at the bottom. And then I want to add a little charm. So I've got this little fairy and she's making a wish. And I just want to add a little charm onto there, like so. She's actually got some glitter on her as well. So that's just look of the drawer that she found that. Oh, the other thing we did was some mini journaling cards. So just, again, a little place to, you know, write on the back, maybe a quote or some favorite words, and then that can tuck somewhere and be quite cute. Tactile, tiny things, something about tiny things, isn't there, that's really, really nice. So let's get organized then, tidy up a little bit, and I'll add any finishing touches as I am kind of tucking things away, if you like. So hopefully that's not too much glare with the light on. So a couple of weeks ago, you might remember I got this little um, vintage book and I just started tucking some ephemera in. And that kind of is a really quick, easy way of making a little folder. And you can just tuck your stuff in and just thinking I might do a couple of finishing touches to that. So all I'm going to do is just tuck them in the pages and not worry too much where they should go. But you can see how quickly you can just organise your bits and bobs and you're not going to lose them then that charm's not going to work let's stick that out the bottom and then when when you're ready to have a journaling session you've got all this stuff already made which is really nice i'm not going to tuck everything in the book um got a few more bits and bobs here and then i've got some quotes and phrases some of them are handwritten them some of them are typed couple of just random bits and bobs. I made a little folder, I don't know if you remember, and I had these words in. So I had past, present and future, and also mind, body, spirit, soul. So I could stick some of those on. Kind of like this piece of paper as well. random little bits and bobs. I just kind of like to use what I have and also make my own, make my own stuff. So it's it's a really easy thing to do. But I do suggest you have some kind of way of organising it so it doesn't get everywhere, if you like. <laughs> Makes it easier to actually sit down and do some journaling. I think I'm going to make a little... addition to this envelope. Okay, and then the little bits I haven't used yet, I can put back into this tiny little pocket. 
got a flower as well, so I might put that in there as well because that's a tiny one. Yeah, I'm just going to tuck everything else. front and just wrap around the little bit of thread I had. So now we've got the two things that go together and I've got a little pile of stuff to work with without even having to think about it. I've got places to write and I've also got these which I showed you a couple of weeks ago I think there's that one as well really great places to write so I'd probably grab something like that as well as my bits and bobs don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you make anything and you want me to see that's the probably the best way to share it and I really hope you have the most joyful holiday period and maybe a little bit of time to yourself to do some arty stuff fun stuff and some art journaling and so I better leave you in peace for now. Is there anything I wanted to say be just before I go? The only thing I need to tell you before I go is that I am planning a Q&A. It'll either be the next video or the one after. That's what I'm thinking. So if you have any questions you can leave them down in the comments below and then I can answer as many of them as I can in the, ne in the next Q&A whenever that is if that makes sense. <laughs> So try to keep your lights shining bright and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now. Mwah. Bye.
Jeffrey on percussion there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>